welcome. This video is going to be a do my day with me type of video. I have to go all the way to Williamsburg. I have to take this to the post office. This is full of yesterday's uh, sales and then I have to take this to the UPS store and since I have to go all the way to the UPS store anyway uh, I'm gonna pick up the return that is waiting there for me wah, wah. and also uh, a package that I had ordered and since I got to make every mile count we are also gonna go thrifting cuz I haven't been to the Goodwill there in a while and that is the highest volume thrift in Williamsburg so hopefully we can find something good let's get started on my day okay well I have the return it uh, smells like man, which I guess if you're wearing enough cologne, you could just try it on and leave that kind of a smell. So I'm just gonna refund them the money. I also got a sticker. So I've, I've been uh, keeping a, like a media journal or like a media scrapbook. So whenever I finish a book, uh, <laughs> cause I do have a book channel, I will get a sticker that relates to the book and or an actual sticker with the book on it which I thought was really cool it's very rare that you find this and I keep track of like what day I read it or what day I completed it and then like a synopsis about it and it means a lot to me I also am hoping to use it for video games but I've kind of just been on a Stardew Valley kick so I haven't really completed any games yet <laughs> I've been chipping away at Horizon Zero Dawn but it's it's been a it's been an effort <laughs> to get that to happen. So I have done all my errands. Uh, I now no longer have any packages as a passenger and uh, I think we are gonna go thrifting now. So let's head to Goodwill and see what I can find. My first hit was actually in the skirt section, which is rare because I rarely go through the skirts, but orange tag is half off and I found this Bowden piece. So this went with me because it was in perfect shape. I then saw this at the end of the line and I was like, you know what? with those keywords and that plaid and that bondage strap, yeah, this has got to be worth at least the $2 that I'm going to pay for it. This is Nanette Lepore. I never find this brand and I finally found it, but Goodwill wanted $5 less than what you could get for it on eBay. So left that behind. This is a new tag pair of Levi's pajama bottoms. Uh, I decided to pass on those, uh, but this is a pair of anthropology crop rice frillier at half off. Yeah, I'm gonna pick those up. And I decided to go through an entire rack with you all. This is, uh, as you can see, the long sleeve shirts. And you can see that back there it says $5.79 per shirt. Again, I am definitely looking for orange tags because they are half off. Um, but depending on what the style and brand is, I might still pick it up. I saw this, it's like, ooh, Vineyard Vines loudly and proudly vineyard vines and a size small and i was looking at it just to see if there were any flaws to spend you know five and a half dollars on it and i'm showing you a giant pull in the back so that's going back because that was not orange tag it was full price and i'm just pushing you along trying to keep my space because this place is so crowded like just unbelievably crowded there's at least four people in the row in front of me, for people in the row behind me, and there's like two or three ladies to the right of me that are like waiting for me to stop taking up so much space because that is what I do. I, I give myself six feet of space. I'm also the only person in here wearing a mask. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a mask, it's because I'm immunocompromised. So there's no more mask mandate, but I also do not have normal immune response. So I am still wearing a mask, so. Please, I know people have strong feelings about that, but I'm doing what's best for me. You do what's best for you, that's cool. You saw me on my phone there, and I was just trying to look up a brand that I hadn't seen before, and it turned out to be nothing, so I left it behind. I feel like I decided to pick the one row where I didn't find anything to be the one that I go through with y'all. This is me trying to check to see if this is vintage or not. It is not, so I just kept going, because it was Eddie Bauer. This is vintage and it was cute. This was like a 90s crop. And I was, it's like, it's just a t-shirt though. Like legitimately the only detail f going for it was the, the side buttons, like the little sailor side buttons. So I just put it back because it wasn't worth $6. So I left it behind. Still going through, still keeping my space, checking to make sure you guys are still 
able to watch me because I have you propped up on my fanny pack in hopes that you don't fall down. This is a Madewell piece and it's like a linen blend, but, and it was even half off, but it had uh, some nastiness on the back of it, which I will get to here in a minute. Yep, there you go. So I see a big old spot. I said, nope, never mind. I'm not dealing with that. Even with uh, two dollars and you know forty cents, I'm not dealing with that. If I don't feel, if it's like an ink stain or something that was like a bleach spot, something I can't get out, I'm I'm just leaving it behind. I'm not dealing with it. And I'm done. I'm done with my row. It is uh, officially pouring outside, and I spent way too long in that store. I spent the last two hours and fifteen minutes in there, but I think I got some good stuff. I spent about seventy dollars. Uh, so let me quickly cut to Other Bob, uh, warm and dry in her house. Thanks Other Bob. So as you can see, I am clean and dry now and ready to do this haul. Uh, I, uh, I got a lot of stuff and a little bit more than I expected. Uh, when she told me the total, I was like, did I really buy that much stuff? But yeah, I kind of did actually buy that much stuff. I bought 14 pieces for a total of $70 and 20 cents and let me show you what I got because that's why you guys stayed this long, right? Is to see what I got. So I found a Banana Republic large shirt and the reason why I purchased this was because it's new with tags and this is 100% silk. So that is the reason why I purchased this is mostly because it's 100% silk and new with tags, the original price on it was $68 <laughs> and I'm um, surprisingly they didn't mark this up I guess whoever was pricing uh, didn't realize this was new with tags because the Goodwill in my area their rule is if it's new with tags they're supposed to mark it half of whatever the lowest price is so they should have marked that for 20 but they didn't so I'm glad they didn't the next item I'm gonna show you is something I bought as you can tell for myself uh, it's a wear until it sells. If I ever get around to listing it, this might be something that just lives in my closet. But doesn't this scream Bob? It's gray. It is a basic button front, but it has these kind of sleeves. And as you can tell, I kind of love those kind of sleeves with my button fronts. This is Lucky Brand. It is a size medium. I rarely find Lucky Brand in the thrift semi area. Normally when I find it, I only find their shoes like their ballet flats they're normally beat to crap and they're eight dollars so i rarely find pick up lucky brand because i rarely find lucky brand but i was so stoked when i saw this and i'm willing to pay the five dollars for a short sleeve shirt if it's something that i can wear until it sells so excited about this for myself <laughs> kind of uh the next piece is also for myself kind of i will I don't mind paying full thrift store prices if it's something that I can wear until it sells. So that is why I'm okay with this. This is a Levi's piece, which you can't see. Women's, like, there you go. This is a women's Levi's medium piece, and this is a chambray shirt. This is just a basic. Got a little pocket with another Levi tab up here in the front. But because this is something that I can sell and actually will be perfect for spring summertime, that is why I picked this up. I do not mind, again, paying full price for full Goodwill price if it's something I can wear until it sells or if it's super valuable. So in the video, I told you guys that the color of the week was orange, which means it was half off, which is why I picked these up. This is a pair of like jogger, zippy jogger, pants they're gray and a size 30 and when I tried to look this up I tried to look it up uh saying Sunday sink that is not the name of the brand the name of the brand is Sunday Sunday's NYC that's the name of the brand uh but I saw the comps on this and they seemed pretty decent so for four dollars because this was half off so the normal pants price is eight dollars so for four dollars I'm willing to give this a try and see how these do. This was the first thing I found that you guys saw in the video. And this was half off because it was the little orange tag and it's Bowdoin, which I love 
selling Bowdoin. And I love it when it is my size. I don't know if I can wear this because this might be a little bit short for my behind, but it's got these wonderful patch pockets in the front. It's kind of more like a fall color. It's giving you very Halloween with the black and orange, but uh, if it doesn't sell until that time of year, that's okay. Very excited about these. Uh, so skirts there were $5, so that would have been $2.50. So that's really nice. But again, we do cost averaging here and the cost averaging for everything is this per piece. So all in all, I still think I did well. This is something I picked up to wear until it sells. But again, we noticed that whenever it's a dress I wanna wear until it sells, uh, it sells before I can wear it. This was half off, which is why I picked it up. It is J. Crew Factory, but it is a size small. I'm not even sure if you're gonna see it. And the reason I know it's factory because it has those two little dots below the J. Crew. But again, this looks very Bob. It's gray, it's a jersey material, it's got a nice banded bottom. It's kind of like a kind of a pleated shift dress. This is totally up my alley. Very excited to wear this. It's like I cleaned out my closet to justify putting more stuff into my closet. But again, these are going in the rotating reseller closet, so they're not going in here, they're going in the other room. This is actually something that was hanging on the end and that's why I, that's the only reason I saw it. Uh, I don't like to go through the women's shorts mostly because of the fact they're normally packed to the butt. But I saw these hanging at the end and was like, oh, those look like linen shorts. And then I saw that they were Athleta lemon, sh lemon. <laughs> Athleta linen shorts and a size 14. So we are coming into linen season. Athleta is a decent brand, so Excited to see how these do. I did pay full price for these, but I don't think because of the brand and because of the fabric that I'm gonna have a problem selling them for a decent return. This next piece I was also super surprised to find, only because the store was packed and there were a ton of people in there, but something else to go in the rotating reseller closet. It is green, so y'all know I was definitely attracted to it. It has really nice lace details can anybody guess what the brand is? <laughs> nope, because it's still focusing on me through the shirt somehow. All right, can I put my hand in? There we go. It is free people. It's free people in a size small. And this is like, this is so cool. I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited to try to wear this. I'm, I'm definitely gonna model this if I can't find a stock photo and feel like it needs it when I hang it up, but I'm excited about this piece. Although again, like the other pieces, it'll probably sell as soon as I list it because that's how everything works. If it's something I'm really excited and wanting to wear a lot, chances are it'll sell before I get to wear it. So we're gonna, we're gonna hope that's still, that's still an okay thing. This next piece, uh, is a Vince piece. I have actually had decent luck selling Vince, not for a lot, but this would have been $5, but again, we're cost averaging, so still doesn't matter. This is Vince size 10. And the reason why I went ahead and bought this is one, because it's in a, you know, a medium size. Uh, this is also very light and the fabric content is silk. This is a 100% silk piece that just magically happened to not have any stains. I actually found a couple of Madewell pieces as well, there was like a full, like probably six inch section of just Madewell pieces and extra small and small. All of them had either a pull, like a massive pull, or had a massive stain that I wasn't confident I could get out. But this was also next to that, and so I picked this up. Uh, this I think is also a new with tag piece. This is a brand that I had not heard of before, just like with the Sundays NYC. But because it was new with tag and because it was new with tag anthropology brand, see here it says it petites anthropology, but this isn't a petite. I think they're just saying that this, this particular style is also found in the petite section. Uh, but this is new with tag. It is a size large and the brand is Bordeaux. So I'm guessing Bordeaux is sold at anthropology. And I know we're not in the, season but 
you know, it's April and I'm wearing a beanie because it is 50 degrees outside. So this is still, it's still long sleeve weather considering that uh, the cold doesn't seem to want to go away. But new tags, figured this was cool to sell. Now, I also found a lot of cabbie and small, extra small. Most of it also had something wrong with it. This is an old cabbie tag, but I liked the style and it's an extra small, but this has a silk like bandana front with like viscose sleeves. It's just a weird top and you know, weird cells. So I figured I give it a try and it's like extra small, but it's oversized extra small. So I can still wear it too, which also helped me decide to purchase it. Again, another cabbie piece. This is a medium, but this is just a thick, heavy gray full zip with everyone's favorite thumb holes. <laughs> so I, I did check comps on this particular item and these were selling in between 19 and between 20 and $30. So I thought that this would be all right, even going out of the season. This next item I picked up because it was another anthropology piece. It was also half off, so it's orange tag. Anthropology in a houndstooth check. So this is a click, click. This is a kick flare cropped anthropology houndstooth piece. If I put twee or Y2K in the title, this will probably go because I don't know if you live through the Y2K era. I did. Houndstooth was very, very much in throughout the entire like aughts. So I know I wore a lot of houndstooth during the aughts. This next item is a new to me brand, but uh, I don't think I had to, I didn't have to justify to myself too much to buy this because I saw the style and I saw the brand name and I was like, that has to be worth something. The brand is called Punk Rave. And this is the style. Of course, this is going to sell. So I saw this, I felt the fabric. I was like, holy crap, this is very nice heavyweight material. Here it is. It's a size small punk rave. And this particular style of skirt was selling for $30. So in the pre-owned condition. So Punk Rave, if you check comps, actually has both really good sell-through and really good comps. So excited about that. And then this is the, the big money piece from this haul. And it is my first time finding this unicorn that was on my list. I finally found a piece of double RL Ralph Lauren. This was in the women's section, which is I think the only reason why I was able to score it. This is a men's small, like waffle net thermal. And this exact shirt had a sold comp of $60 plus shipping on eBay. So I have finally marked another brand off my bolo list. I, I've sold plenty of Ralph Lauren pieces or Ralph Lauren polo or Lauren Ralph Lauren. I have only ever found one purple label, which is a pair of shoes that I still haven't listed yet. And then I have found one denim and supply piece at an estate sale for a dollar that sold for like 50. And now I have this label as well. So really excited. This will pay for most of my haul. Uh, but I don't have any, any misgivings that I will not make a pretty decent amount of money from this haul. So thank you guys so much for spending the day with me. I hope you like this video and I'll see you in a couple days for another one. Bye.